Jesus died for you. And you may be an unbeliever right now, or maybe you're unlearned about these Christian things, and you're saying, what? Well, I'm saying Jesus died for you. Uh, doesn't that make you happy? No. First of all, somebody dying doesn't make me happy. And secondly, I didn't ask him to do that. He did that on his own. Well, no, he didn't see because you sinned, so you're kind of at fault. Yeah, but I, I didn't tell him to do it. He did that. Yeah, but um, since he died for you, you have to give him your life. Like, you can't do things the way you want to do them anymore. You have to do them the way he wants to, okay? Nope, I don't want in on that deal. And you're wondering, why are these people telling me that because a dude died for me that I have to live for him? Why did he have to die for me in the first place? You said that God spoke the world into existence. Couldn't he have just spoke and said, you're forgiven, off the hook. Try to do better next time. Why couldn't he just do that then? Isn't he God, all powerful, all, all knowledgeable, all everything, like you guys say? And the answer is this. God is just. And he does everything with justice. And God is right. And he is all righteous. And can you imagine today a judge in a courtroom, almost like some sort of Judge Judy show, and it's clear that the person on trial is absolutely guilty and everybody knows it. And the judge, like some sort of bought out judge on a mafia show or something, says, you can go free. And everybody loses their mind. It would be worse than the OJ trial. Sorry, Generation Z, I, I know you don't know who that is. You would be so livid to know that there was a judge out there who knew that bad things have happened and someone has done wrong things against the law and they just let everybody go free for it. And our God wouldn't be a just judge if he knew of our sin and nobody paid a price for it. But Jesus said, you're right. Somebody does need to pay for that sin. Someone does need to be punished for it. But it's not them. I love them too much. It's going to be me.